Wednesday, August 22nd, 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, we're 34 days into this unique planetary arrangement, about 17 to go, when Mercury will bring us out of this unique position where we're in a planetary traffic jam back here. And then Venus, and then Earth, and then we'll kind of get things stretched back out to, to some sense of normalcy. But right now, we are still in that planetary traffic jam. What I want to talk about in this video are the earthquakes that we've been having lately. Today, it was just one after another after another, at least with regard to moderate quakes. 5.0 Indonesia, 5.2 Papua New Guinea, another 5.2 in New Guinea, 5.1 Philippines, another one in New Guinea, 5.8, 5.3 Mexico. I mean, it goes on, and these are just today. There was a, the day started off with a 6.2 two off the coast of Oregon. Um, let's see, Colombia saw 4.5, Venezuela, uh, that would probably be in the category of an aftershock of the 7.3 that occurred yesterday that some are describing as the longest earthquake they'd ever felt. What I want to talk about in this video is something that we talked about at this YouTube channel back in January, in case you guys didn't see it. Back in January, January 3rd to be exact, I posted a video here at the YouTube channel called The Great Quake of 2018, and the time frame of July 19th through August 28th would be the times to watch for a heavy shake event, a great quake. In the description box, I go on to say January 3rd, 2018, early heads up video, looking ahead into this year, my model is suggesting the strong probability of a very large earthquake, possibly a record setter. Conditions will become very favorable as time moves forward. Please bookmark the earthquake plan link I've provided for you and read over it with your family. And that's right there, especially for those people that, that live on a fault zone. We talked about the possibility of a great quake back in January, eight months ago of 2018. And this year there was and 8.2 in that time frame. August 19th, we saw an 8.2 quake that was ranked right up there with one of the top 20, or it was near the top 20 list of the strongest earthquakes ever recorded. Let me see if I can find the 8.2. Here it is. Right there's the 8.2. Go to the list of the top 20 largest earthquakes in the world. Number 20, rounding out the top 20, is an 8.4. That earthquake was an 8.2. So it was nearly a record setter, um, but it did shake the entire globe. Seismos went black around the world for almost 48 hours. So the model that I use does have a degree of uh, success. It's not perfect by any means. I don't predict earthquakes. I do long-term forecasting every once in a while when conditions that I see may be favorable. And we were looking at this eight months ago, back in January of 2018. So I just wanted to point that out in case you guys hadn't seen that. I don't necessarily predict earthquakes. I mean, that's kind of, kind of hard to do. But my model that I use and I develop myself over the years, I do occasionally do long-term forecasting. And in that particular case, it does look like it did work. The model was successful. Saw a large earthquake on August 19th, and it was in that window. Still got about a week to go. Hopefully, there won't be any more uh, huge earthquakes like that. And one saving grace of this big quake is its tremendous depth. It was over 300 miles deep and still registered as an 8.2. If that would have been a shallow earthquake, it could have created a huge tsunami and no telling what else. So thankfully, that was a very deep quake. And if we have any more, they will be deep as well. But it was near one of the top 20 strongest earthquakes ever recorded. All right, guys, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.